Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how to change orientation for only one of uh, view controllers in Swift's project or uh, how we change the device orientation for a specific view controller. So for example, we have uh, more than one or we have two or three uh, view controller, but we want one of them to be, uh, you know, landscape as we use as wide you know uh, maximum wide of our iPhone or uh, you know our device uh, whatever like iPad so yeah um, uh, for doing this we need to start a new project but before that I want you to know that you can find source code of this uh, project uh, a link to the source code of this project in comments below so yeah, we need to start a project, but uh, let me show you uh, how will be output. So you will see here uh, one uh, page. I'm not gonna change my device, uh, you know, position. So I'm not gonna make it, you know, landscape. But I will jump from this page to the next page. But this, the, the next page, I want to use it as a landscape. So when you you will see when I go to the next page it will make it landscape and when I go back it will be portrait so yeah this time we don't want to be you know page depend of the device we want to force it uh, and automatically rotate our user interview uh, so I'm sorry our uh, view controller okay so let's start our uh, project but before that uh, you know name of this project is too long so I'm gonna copy that Yeah, change device, change divide orientation in a specific view controller. My name is like this. And uh, so I stop this and I go file new project. And I choose single view app. And here, yes, so I say iOS. Swift, iPhone, and this one. But I'm gonna add one zero one to uh, you know make new one. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna overwrite the uh, you know the the previous one. Uh, and uh, I don't want that. So I'm gonna make a new one. So yes, I create this, and then I'll go to main storyboard. In main storyboard, what I do, I will add. My second view also I add some uh, you know uh, one label and one button and uh, I do some uh, you know uh, some show I use some uh, show and uh, uh, then I'm gonna add uh, you know new uh, view controller and then I will add uh, my codes okay uh, so yeah let's uh, here um, I am gonna make it a little bit smaller then I drag one view controller here this one will be my second one okay and uh, now I need to add uh, my you know label yes yeah, so I add one label here So I make this one for example view one and I make it you know with fonts uh, bigger fonts something like between uh, yeah like 34 to be aligned center and uh, I add a button and uh, yeah this button uh, I give it background <coughs> excuse 
excuse me. So I say go to view two. And and yes, background. Let's give it a little bit background. Some light blue. Okay. Also, I'm gonna make it make font a little bit bigger. That's too big. Yeah, twenty-five. And okay. Uh, also, I may add, uh, you know, constraint to this one to be same size it is, and for this one as well to be same wide and height it is. Now I select these two, then I say Command C. I come to this second view and command V them so they will sit here as well so I choose this one I say align it center horizontal and vertical choose the this one I say align it only horizontal also, I uh, control drag from this one to this one and I say keep vertical space. So we are good for constraint of this one, but for text, this one is uh, view 2 and this one is go to view 1. So I choose this two this time and I say both of them horizontally center this one vertically center as well and this one control drag to this one to the button and vertical spacing okay so now I want to say okay when I tap on this button I want to show second control view so what should I do uh, easy just uh, drag from uh, this control uh, this sorry button uh, control drag to this view and here action uh, will be show and you will see show uh, to view controller and for this one as well control drag to this one so and also show yeah so we done with uh, you know all uh, user interface part you see uh, I did all of them with uh, Xcode and storyboard so far but now I, I need to add some code so here I will add new file this file will be Cocoa Touch class and uh, it will be subclass of superclass view controller and uh, so I name it second view controller yes uh, created in same where I have my view controller exist now I need to go to my uh, main storyboard and here I will say that yeah I uh, you know choose this uh, yellow button I'm actually my view controller and then I come to identity inspector and in identity inspector I can choose which class gonna be controller of this uh, view so yes second view controller okay now I'll go to my second view controller okay so uh, here uh, I did all of this to show you folks this part so to make my view to be in different uh, orientation for example landscape right uh, what should I do I need to add four function here 
the first one will be view will appear so as soon as I type uh, in this part it will uh, make me for me that uh, function here I just say super dot view will appear animated boolean yes I uh, choose uh, from uh, this uh, function argument actually parameter so I say any animated okay so you may, may want to know what's this super this super when I uh, say super dot view so why I call this one with super yeah you know what I did I say okay go and get inherit uh, from uh, UI view controller and call view controller as uh, you know defined inside the view controller and uh, go ahead so I don't want to do any change I just call it here to be accessible here then I say should auto rotate yes uh, so if uh, should auto rotate I say return false okay and then I say support double P supported interface orientations yes this one for me I want to return dot landscape right let me wait for function to offer it to me uh, if it do not yeah here we go if it do not offer it to you there should be something wrong but uh, you can uh, you know type it yourself if you are pretty okay that what are you doing okay so pre third interface orientation for presentation this is the one we are looking for and here I say yes again return dot landscape right yeah that's it you see that I didn't do anything in view did load I just add these four functions okay so uh, now I'm gonna run this project So uh, as you know, you saw uh, I add the uh, view. The will appear to get inherited from uh, actually run, get inherited from uh, superclass UI uh, view controller. Also, I said should auto rotate return false uh, and. Uh, uh, also for super, super inf interface uh, orientation we say yeah return landscape and for prefer interface landscape you know orientation for presentation uh, landscape right we can use landscape left or portrait or whatever but it's important that you know this only in this view when we are uh, it uh, this rotation will happen without even we need to uh, we have to rotate our device so this uh, blank uh, screen yeah so yeah we have this one so I say go to second view you will see automatically rotate it for me to landscape so for example when you have a video or something to show so you make it to be landscape and when I go back it will be in a portrait position so yeah that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like it please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more video which are coming and 
if you have any question ask it in comment below as actually this video made by uh, you know one of the comments of uh, you folks and uh, I wish the best for you and uh, bye bye